Okay, that was an abbreviated version of my morning sequences. Now I'm going to explain each one, tell you my counts if you're interested, and you can try to put something together yourself. I basically just made most of this stuff up. Some of it's referencing uh, yoga and other moves that I've learned from professionals, but uh, the first one, hamstring kick out, is this leg going straight up and down and really getting a good hamstring stretch. This thing's getting the adductors, right? So I do 35 on each side, switching over 35 there. And this is the clock starting from my core. So I'm off the ground the whole time as I move right into, I do 23 in each direction of the frog kicks. This is a really great for the hip flexors. Also get some hamstring and if I point my toes I get my calf going too. Switch directions. Then I immediately go into the raised legs. This gives my core a little bit of a break. I'm trying to flex my ankles side to side as you can see. And this is starting to challenge the, the front of the quads here. And I do 23 of those. And then next is the mountain climbers, I believe they're called. So again, good challenge for the core, the quads, calf muscles. And notice I'm pointing my toes in a certain direction for 23 and flexing in the other direction. So it's time to switch when I get to 23 and point the right toe. After that, core's getting pretty tired. Grab my feet and do that beautiful hamstring stretch. Pausing here to stretch the calves, hamstrings. And I go forward, pull on those calf muscles and straighten up. This is also for that sciatica condition that's pretty common where I'm stretching the muscle and giving the nerve a little bit of activation all the way through the back of the leg. And then I know it's time for the first really difficult, challenging one, uh, the yoga wheel. And of course, that's a total body, uh, legs, upper back and arms. And I try to hold that for a count of 40 and if I'm feeling really great, I'll go for five more or 10 more counts. Uh, and that's just me counting. I've timed it, it takes about a minute. So I'm holding this thing for about a minute. And if you wanna get a basic uh, version of this, that's a lot safer. You can just hold this position. People do some of that too. Uh, but I like the wheel, especially cause I'm a high jumper and I'm trying to get that back comfortable bending over the bar, come right out of that. And now I'm getting a really nice stretch on the front of the quads. I'm not holding any stretch for too long. I wanna be careful with any kind of static stretching, especially first thing in the morning. So I'm just kind of moving over into the side to side leg swings. These are really good for the glute and also the hip flexor, just increasing mobility. So I'll get 15 of these. Hold the stretch for a count of 15. And I'm bringing my arm into the mix now, so I'm getting a little bit of shoulder dynamic stretch. Switching sides. So I do 15 swings on this side. Hold this stretch. Work in the shoulder. And then I go immediately into these leg circles. This is a new addition to the program. Really fun and uh, great for the hip flexors, great for the hamstrings. So I'm trying to make as wide of a circle as possible. I'm pushing in with the other leg in my hands and it turns out to be pretty challenging. So 15 in one direction, 15 in the other. Then I go right back over to the other leg, 15 in one direction. So on the video, taking you through it, I did you know, seven or eight instead of 15, 10 instead of 20, just so you don't 
get too bored. Done with those and immediately roll over into the lovely downward dog centerpiece of yoga. This is great for the shoulders. And I'm also making sure I get a good calf stretch, holding that the whole time. And then moving right into Cobra. Of course, I'm stretching my back again, similar to the wheel. I'm also working on my neck hair because when you high jump and you flip over the bar like that, the next day my neck sore a lot. So I want to get really good and strong with the neck there. Taking it back down. Then I step through and this is a great glute stretch. Uh, previously I was doing the stretch where you lean over your leg folded underneath you. And I think I hurt my knee there. So again, being really careful with anything that's a static stretch. And this feels much more comfortable, less risk of overdoing it. So I'm holding this for a count of 15 and then going into hip flexor stretch for the other leg now, raising up high, holding that for a count of 15 and then grabbing the foot. And now it's still a hip flexor stretch, but I'm also getting the entire front of the quad. Finishing that, step through, other side, same thing. Hip flexor, the all important hip flexor that we mess up so badly when we're sitting in chairs all day. So you can't get strong enough or flexible enough there. Can't do enough stretching there. Grabbing the back with the other hand. And then the final step through to uh, another hamstring stretch, but I'm also trying to get those nerves and uh, alleviate that risk of sciatica. So I'm holding this for a little bit and then pushing through to straight back. Again, great hamstring stretch. Counting for 15 on all these. And then I go down into the deep squat and uh, great for the calves, hip flexors, lower back. Finally, hands behind my back. This is getting a good stretch to the, the forearms and places where I'm vulnerable to a tennis elbow. So I got to keep those forearms stretched out. Also, of course, lower back and hamstring. And then we're done with the outside portion and we go into the pain cave. Okay, these are known as Bulgarian split squats or the one leg elevated split squat. And it is hotter than it looks, I would say. Anything with one leg is so awesome because it helps you identify weaknesses and imbalances that might not appear if all you did was throw a heavy bar on your back and do the heavy squat. So I've been working up to uh, this level and started with uh, trying to do 20 with a nice wobbly knee and now you can see uh, my knees locking in pretty good. Uh, the left leg is definitely feeling less stable than the right still. So I'm really trying to get that left leg strong. I started doing 20 reps, now I'm at 45 each leg, getting better. Notice how I thrust my hips forward on each rep for full extension on each rep, and what a great way to end the morning routine. Ah. <laughs>